Hi, I recently deboned some uh, chicken thighs, so I figured, hey, it's a good time to try making broth with my Instant Pot. So today I'm just going to make a plain chicken broth. I have uh, a pound and a quarter of uh, chicken thigh bones with some meat still attached, one teaspoon of Himalayan sea salt, and eight cups of water. All right, I added the chicken, uh, just uh, spread it out a little. In terms of uh, amount of water, you could use an inch or two above the bones. It, it varies, you could do whatever you want, but you want to definitely submerge the uh, bone so you could get uh, ample amount of broth. So on the uh, pressure cooker, there's a uh, max fill line. PC max is about two thirds full. And that's to give uh, PC is pressure cooker. So when you're using the pressure cooker, this is the max fill line. This gives you some space between the uh, liquid line and the top of the lid, especially the valves. You don't want to clog the valves in pressure cooker mode. So this is uh, some extra space in case whatever you're cooking gets frothy and you don't want to jam up the valve. All right, before I put on the lid, I usually check the seal to make sure it's properly in place. Make sure the valve is clean and can move. And I put this in seal mode. All right, I'm going to be using the Instapot soup broth mode. So when you start out, normal, 31 minutes, such an odd time. Press it again, you get uh, more 4 hours. And less is 20 minutes, so 20, 31, and 4 hours. And since I'm going to make a bone broth, I guess uh, four hours is the time. Seems like a long time, but uh, I'm going to trust it. So see you all back in about four hours. All right, the uh, four hour timer has gone off. It's gone into keep warm mode. So the timer went off about three minutes ago. It's still pressurized, and one thing about making a bone broth or broth in general, uh, I believe the Instapot website just says to let it let the pressure go down naturally. So I won't be using the valve to relieve the pressure. I'll just let it go down, uh, depressurize as the unit cools down. Okay, 43 minutes into the uh, cooling off. The buttons pop down. All right, it's been an hour 14 minutes since the uh, Instapot went into warm mode. It took 43 minutes for the uh, button to pop down, so that means the pressure is normalized. I'm gonna put this on venting mode so I could open the top and see what the results look like. All right, now we have uh, chicken broth. Okay, one of the uh, supposed advantages of using a crock pot, it cooks at higher temperatures. So you're able to extract as much uh, flavor and nutrients from the broth as possible. Um, also, I guess the soup and broth mode, it doesn't continuously boil. So as a result, you get kind of a a clearer broth and that's true. Also um, when I opened the pot you could smell the chicken the chickeniness of the broth. I use eight cups of water for a pound of bones. I'm gonna give it a little try. Actually put some in a bowl. Let's see how it tastes. Uh, it's a little light in in needs salt, but uh, you do get the chicken flavor. 
the uh, final task is to strain the broth, strain the chunks out of the broth and let it cool. All right, here are the uh, final results. Almost uh, 12 cups of uh, chicken broth, fairly clear. Uh, I'll make a good uh, addition for soups, rices, or even uh, drink as bone broth.